Christmas in my heart. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves Life, and today I'm going to share with you my toddler gift guide for boys. So this ranges from about two to four years old, that late toddler to early preschool age. If you're interested in more girly items like baby dolls, dress up clothes, things like that, I will link my last video up above for you guys. I have a five and a half year old son and a two year old daughter. So I am well into the boy and girl items here. A lot of these too can be gender neutral. You can get it for the girl and a lot of them too in the girls video you can get for your boy but i will be sharing some of those in this video as well the first thing here i did not mention in my girl video but this is our step two easel so this is an art easel there is a dry erase side and then a chalkboard side as well so we love to use this for this age i think my son got it when he was two years old we whipped it back out when my daughter turned two years old as well because you know you just don't want chalk laying around and magnets laying around but we love this I would pair it with the Melissa and Doug magnets. So we have the letter and number set that we really love. And then we also have this wooden animal set as well. Another thing that is kind of a big gift item that my son loves are kid craft train table. So this is a train table. It also can fold up and be put away if you do rotate out your big toys. But this is amazing. It also comes with three under storage items, train tracks and extra tracks as well. So we are very into Thomas the Tank engine when he was this age and we bought all the little pieces so I will link a couple of them down below. If you are interested in shopping for this age I will just link the first link down below in the description is to the full list of toddler gift idea two to four so it has the boy and girl items in there but if you want a specific item that is down there as well. So love this train table it comes with a bunch of like hills and vehicles in itself so highly highly recommend it another thing is this monster jam remote control truck this looks like a shark like the megalodon this is a very popular toy it's also really good for outdoors because it has a thick tire i've done a whole video on outdoor toys as well i will link that in the cards for you guys if you're looking specific outdoor toys another thing are the stomp rockets this is a set of two stomp rockets there is a red car and a blue car this is so fun for this age, another great outdoor toy. Another item I forgot to mention for the girl item, but they would love it as well. My daughter uses it, but this is the jump and slide inflatable bouncer from Little Tykes. It does also come on sale a lot during Black Friday, so be sure to look out for that. But ours is kind of the medium size one. There is a smaller size you can get of this as well. My kids love this, love jumping on it, especially rainy days. You can use it outside. It comes with stakes or we keep it personally indoors for a good cold or rainy day activity. Popper balls, my son got this Paw Patrol one when he was little and it's one of those like bounce on balls that has the handlebar for it. So there's like a Paw Patrol one, Spider-Man, Toy Story, Trolls, Disney princesses, you name it. A really good indoor toy to kind of get their energy out. So this next thing is one of our favorite games. This is called Pop the Pig. It's this cute little pig that you can feed it to hamburgers. You roll a dice it gives you a color you pick up the hamburger I'll tell you how many times press his head down his belly expands and when he bursts out and his belt kind of opens and hands fly up then you either win or lose depending on how you and your family want to play the game highly recommend this game Paw Patrol is also super big got to get the cars and their little characters there's also the Paw Patrol headquarters you can get as well my son loved these magnetic pattern block set so this is from Melissa and Doug they come with cards that you can use to create and copy what the image is or they just play and create their own animals and shapes with these magnets. You also got this Play-Doh set that my kids love. This is the Play-Doh Kitchen Creations. It has like cookie cutters, a whole bunch of little Play-Dohs that it comes with, rolling pins, spatula, things like that. My kids love it. We also had a spaceship Play-Doh set as well that he loved. The next thing here is this giant Optimus Prime car robot. So it has basically six cars that morph together to make this Optimus Prime. So this is his main piece and it does talk. Autobots, conform and roll out. 
But you put all of the pieces together. They have legs and arms. My son loves that. Speaking of transformers, we have a whole bunch of different kinds. Now, I would recommend if you have the younger starter transformer fan to get rescue bot. They are basically one step robots that you don't have to do much transforming for them. Like this guy is, I believe his name is Chase. And it's super easy to transform. You just pull his little spot up and he transforms that way. So these were really great starter transformers. Let me show you the spin. We have all of these transformers. This is just his transformer bin. He has so many of them and like I mentioned, you need to get the rescue box first and then from there you can get their other transformers because then they start getting a little bit more difficult to transform and then you'll be a little stressed about it. They'll be stressed about it. So rescue bots first and then you can move into the more intense things that they have. Get this way. Yeah, I will link them down below if you want a more detail of like the transformers and like the development and stages and how hard they get. Let me know. I'm not going to do that video unless you guys are very interested in it. Because like I said, we have a lot of different versions of transformers. This guy is one of the more advanced guys. It doesn't take just one step. I really liked the one step. But we're starting to get a little bit more involved with our transformers. But this is another type for the more experienced transformer fan. Just to continue on transformers is our remote control Optimus Prime. He transforms on his own. He sings. You can drive it. Comes with a controller. I love that it's micro USB chargeable so you don't need to constantly change the batteries. You just charge it with a micro USB that it comes with. This also comes in an Optimus Prime as well. My son also loves the start board. It is a Velcro dart board with balls on it. So you throw it, we hang it on the back of a door in the playroom and this is really fun. He has got a kick out of it. We introduced Connect 4 at this age as well. So we have our Spider-Man Connect 4. You can be Spin or Spider-Man. We store a lot of his cars, remote control cars, transformers in, is our Little Tykes car racing chest. So it's a big plastic toy chest that you can put larger items in. And I mean, like, so this little box right here, you could probably fit five of these into the big toy chest. So a great way to store their toys that you don't want to see around and it looks really cool in their room. So my son has this in his room. I mentioned in my girl video, this age loves arts and crafts. So I have some dot markers that I recommend. This is a great way for them to start with arts and crafts. We have this dinosaur ABCs book that my son went through and loved. We also really liked at this age light bright. I would say more towards like the four three to four age. They are the old school kind of style back in the day. You also can get refill paper templates. So we had a dinosaur one and a different version as well. This was a really great activity that was quiet, especially when I had my daughter Maddie and she was just first born. This was a great quiet activity you could do with your three, four year old while your baby is sleeping. Another thing is our floor puzzles. This was very popular when my son was this age. I just busted out my floor puzzles and he would knock it out. Another quiet time activity that my son did when I had my newborn baby. We love the Melissa and Doug underwater. We also have the barnyard farm set as well. I have a whole video talking about puzzles from the thick board puzzles and the peg puzzles all the way to kind of as they develop and grow. I will link that video up above for you guys who are interested. My son went through like all of the progressions of puzzles. That was his thing. Daughter on the other hand, not interested in puzzles whatsoever. So if you have someone interested in puzzles, check that video out. Another big thing at this age, especially with my son, was Hot Wheels. So we, our big thing is this Hot Wheels car track. This is the ultimate garage. It has a dinosaur as well. So you can crank it up with the cars and the cars go down. It releases the dinosaur and the dinosaur chomps on its way down trying to eat and catch the cars. This just my son had a kick and a blast out of this. We still use this to this day, so I wanted to recommend that. We also have a bunch of other Hot Wheel tracks that we love. There's like a gorilla one. There is another kind of style gorilla or ape, they call it. There is the squid one that we like. So a couple of different 
tracks as well. They kind of range in price. So depending on your price range for Christmas, you could check out these. You can get the little cars like Dollar Tree, things like that. But I found these two sets that my son loves. There's this Spider-Man five pack set. He loves a Marvel or Avengers set that he loves as well. And then these are really cool. He got them as a birthday gift. They are color reveal cars. So there are two cars that come in this pack. You can put them in hot or cold water. That will change the color of their paint of the car. He thinks it's super cool. Also a really good stocking stuffer. For good for boys or girls, late start. So this is what we used. There are a whole lot of versions people get of like the learning to read, starting to read programs. We did the late start 3D. So it comes with the electronic book and then you get all of these books you can buy them separately there's some that come in different packs his favorite was the mickey roadster racers one and the spider-man one because you could see a little bit of the videos on this little tiny screen with the pen it will help teach you how to read games things like that so we love this i haven't done this with my daughter yet at two years old i think there is a disney princess version of this but we really like this. It's something I am going to start with my daughter. That is very popular for boys in general or all the superhero things. So he loves this Iron Man mask because, I mean, seriously, look at me. I look so silly. But he loves this thing and wears it all the time. My daughter plays with it as well. Super fun. Another thing are sunglasses. These are great stocking stuffers as well. We get the kids polarized sunglasses. Comes in a three pack. Bunch of different shades for boys. I recommend the blue, black, and white. And then I wanted to mention our water table and our like water play set. So we loved our water table when he was younger when he was about two to three years old we loved it he then as he got older got a little bit bored of it um so if you are interested in a water table i recommend ours from step two but if you want something a little bit longer lasting i would recommend this right here it is from aqua play it's called the lake water play set so this is really cool because it is interactive they hand pump there are ways that you can open and shut walls so the water fills up with the pump and then the boats go down this isn't like a water table so it will either sit on your grass or concrete and then you can also put it on like a patio screen porch patio or on a patio furniture table but my kids love this this is a little bit more interactive more things for them to play with especially with the boats and being able to go up and down the hills is really really fun for this age the next thing here is an instrument set all kids love music our instrument set comes in a book bag or a bag type style it has like maracas a tambourine a xylophone all the fun things for your little ones to play with a great gift idea. My kids also loved playing vet or doctor. So we have this big Melissa and Doug well care center or doctor center that they love to play with. You can pair it with the Melissa and Doug vet play a set with a cute little dog and a cat in it. And it comes with a bag of all of the doctor supplies. Lego Duplos are also super popular this age. There's a ton of different versions you can get. I recommend if you don't have any to get the starter box so you can put Legos in there. There's enough room to if you get a couple of the other box sets that will fit in that Lego storage box. We have the step two kitchen play set. Also comes with like a little recycling bin and refrigerator, things like that. They love to play kitchen and chef with this thing and we also have a grocery store as well right next to it so they shop at the melissa and doug grocery store and then go cook it at the house this can last a long time I highly recommend it with the grocery store you can get the starter set that comes with the apron and a couple of food items the food items that we love are the Italian pasta play set. A bubble machine gun is always fun. Kids love bubbles. This is very easy to use. It comes in a bunch of different colors and shoots off a lot of bubbles. The next thing kids love are magnet tiles or we love the Picasso tiles. You can get a little bit more 
for your buck with Picasso tiles, but Magna Tiles now has these really unique, fun animal scenes. There is a forest scene, a arctic animal scene, and a farm scene that is super fun. They will attach to each other. The Magna Tiles and Picasso Tiles attach to each other, so it's a good way to expand the imagination and creativity with all the different sets on top of your basic sets. We also have this set of two car pack that you can make into big moving car towers. My kids love these things. The next thing are our reusable sticker books. We love sticker books. We have, for boys, we had a pirate one. We have a big puppy one that we love. Love these, really easy for them to peel off and restick and constantly play with on their own. Quiet activity. I think I had a quiet activity video back in the day. I will link that up above if I can find it. But I remember when Maddie was first born, I think I did a video on my favorite quiet activities for little kids. Large hooded kid towels. Kids love the hooded towels for either beach or pool. They have this really cute pirate one as well as a fire truck one. There's a bunch of different kind of categories of this. Link down below if you are interested. Here are Mega Blocks. They are a bigger version of Lego Duplos. So kind of the starter Lego set. Another thing that we used and was an essential item for us was the Guidecraft Kitchen Helper. So this is a kitchen stool that you can use. They can climb into it and help with cooking and baking depending on what you want them to do and be able to reach. What I really love about this too is it can fold away and be put away so it doesn't have to stay out in your kitchen all the time. My kids also use this to kind of teach them how to sit down to eat. At this age, they typically are outgrowing their high chair and booster seats, so this is a great way for them to like go and eat, and then of course they go run and play. I have a little bit higher like bar stool kitchen chair, so this is a lot safer of an option for our family. The next thing here is his scooter. He loves it, still uses it to this day. It's not the kind that you have to turn the scooter handle this way to turn. You lean into it and the wheels will turn that way. Lights up. Highly recommend this as the first scooter. We tried the Razor scooter first and it was the kind that you had to move the handlebars this way. I would say, uh, at least for my kids, we're not at that stage yet. Check this one out first. Our Dino Dig Sand and Water Play set is still a go-to for my kids. It has like two big sections of it. One you can fill with water, one you can fill with sand. I got it during the 2020 times when we practically lived out in our screen porch, me and my son, when he was two years old. So this has had a lot of play and I recommend it. This is also the age kids are going out of their crib and going into toddler beds. So a toddler pillowcase is amazing and toddler pillow. Why get a pillowcase no pillow? So you could get the pillow with the pillowcase and it is perfect. Also toddler size bedding is awesome. It will fit a crib. This way too they can practice using blankets before they are completely unzipped out of their sleep sacks and don't know what to do and are freezing in the winter time. Another item my son really loved is this Leap Frog 2-in-1 Leap Touch screen, I guess. It's kind of like a laptop and a computer in itself. It has certain games and teaches letters, things like this. My kids loved it, still love it to this day and kind of fight over it. I probably should get another one. The next item is from B Toys. They have this really big dump truck that my kids love. We also have the sand truck as well. This is an excavator toy, really good for outdoor play. Splash pads are also really fun. This is like a splash pad sprinkler. I have had a bunch of different versions of this. My kids love it, especially in the summertime. Fun game that me and my son played a lot was Zingo. So this is a game kind of like bingo, but more a little bit more interactive and easier for toddlers to do. I mentioned water wows. These are amazing. It is like a water pencil that you fill up with water and on the pages it will turn into color. You can find little hidden items in them. They have like on one part of the paper like there are going to be five seashells and like the ocean one for instance and then you paint it over and color it over and you can find it. So there are a whole bunch of different versions of this. We have a dinosaur one and an under the sea one that we love. Another thing my son loved but it does take parent 
help is the Dig Up Dinosaur Fossil Eggs. So I purchased this from my son, I think around three years old. A parent definitely has to be involved for this, but the kids love it. It comes with like a little pick and a brush. So my son's job was the brush. He couldn't really pick it to kind of break the egg open to release the dinosaurs. But he loved it. Also comes with information cards as well. This is our wooden advent calendar. Highly recommend it. You can count up to Christmas and it's a fun interactive way to count to Christmas with your kids. My kids took the little star, but there's also a star that you can put at the top to finish the tree. I've had these out in my living room. That's where we are right now. And my kids are playing with these toys, so they're not all perfectly perfect at the moment. They're wireless Bluetooth headphones. This is really great too, especially for car trip. If you want them to watch a movie or listen to something and you don't want to listen to it or you don't want to be a distraction to the people around you, these are really good. I highly recommend the ones that we have. We have this piano toy keyboard that my son loves. You can change the instrument and music that way. Comes with the microphone. My son loved, loved, loved this. Another thing is the piano floor mat where they can walk and dance on. It will play music as well as animal noises for ours. Paint by sticker book. So we have this one here. This is dinos and bugs. We also have an animal one as well. So it has a page with the numbers of the stickers and then you can put it on the paper that way. Another thing is color by numbers. So we have this one and he loves it because it tells you what color to paint all uh, or you can either paint or color with a crayon or marker but he loves this as well he is the very studious puzzle workbook kind of person kid binoculars we love to take these and go out on adventures as well as these little bags these are really perfect if you find seashells rocks acorns all that stuff on walks or at the beach this is a great way to store it easy for them to carry so they don't just like keep handing you all of these stuff and you just don't know what to do with and slowly kind of drop it on the floor or put it in your pocket. These bags are amazing. Our Spider-Man winter hat set. He was obsessed with this. Wore it all the time. I'm pretty sure he's excited to wear it again now that we're getting into the colder months even though tank top right here. You know, never know the weather here in North Carolina. These lip smackers I gave him for a stocking stuffer. This is the Marvel flavored one. So they had like the Marvel characters on it. For Christmas, I also really like giving bath bombs. There's this Christmas set that has these little jelly characters in it. Surprise inside. We also have had these dino egg bath bombs as well. that have little dinos inside. Our swim goggles. Swimming is so important for my family. They start swim lessons at this age and play in the pool a lot. These are amazing. They have a little clip on the back so you can take off the goggles with the clip versus pulling them on and off their hair and pulling their hair and just a hot mess. So recommend these goggles. We also love Imagine Ink books here in our family. You can get them at Target but you can also get huge sets of them from Amazon. I think this set here is a five set for $18 and it's all kind of assortment of boys bundle. There's also a girls bundle as well but we really like this because it is a marker that if they color anything but the pages nothing shows up and I don't know what's in this ink but whatever it is that works with the paper is amazing. My kind of thing for this age. Our ball pit. Highly recommend. Use this all the time especially when we have friends over. You can also fold this up and store it away. With our balls that we use I bought two of these ball packs for that specific ball pit and this also comes with storage bags as well that you can put them away when you don't want them out all the time. If you're a parent you know what I mean. With that you can get the toddler tunnel tent. So this is like a little tunnel that they can climb into to go into the ball pit or go from place to place and this also can fold up and be stored away. Similar thing you'll notice in my toys and videos. There's always some kind of storage organization with the item that I love. The other thing is the nuggets. It is like a couch cushion kind of set that you can make towers, buildings, slides, ramps for them to jump on and off of. We absolutely love ours. We actually have two sets so we can build bigger things for them. My kids absolutely love it. The other thing I recommend is the Little Tykes trampoline. So this has a bar on it that as they're little and learning how to actually jump, they can use the bar to help hold themselves up. When they start progressing, I would take the bar off of it 
and it just have the little trampoline. They can still use it, but this way they're not trying to flip upside down on it. For when my kids started flipping upside down, we transitioned to gymnastics bars. So my kids use this every single day. They now do flips and hangs and all the crazy things on this bar. It is a foldable, so it folds up for storage, of course, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. We got it for my daughter for her second birthday. My five and a half year old can do amazing tricks on this monkey bar set. So I highly recommend that for boys as well. Boys love to dress up too. There are some superhero dress up sets as well as like a set with like a cop, construction worker, chef set, all of that as well. I mentioned that I got my daughter this. This would be perfect for boys as well. This is from Learning Resources. It's a alpha pops. So it comes with a whole bunch of popsicles, different colors and different alphabet letters on them and they match up together a great way to learn their alphabet and play with food and popsicles and color matching things like that so I'm excited to give that to my daughter for crafts I also this year I got them the silicone craft mats my son and my daughter got it comes in a two-pack comes in different color options as well so the pink and blue is the one I got you put the little paint and water and paint brushes on there so they could be a little bit more independent while painting you still supervise of course the next thing is our bubble and go a mower my son loved this thing you fill up a little hole with bubble solution and as you push it the bubbles fly out so he loved mowing the lawn with daddy. We also have our cookie counter set as well. It is a big cookie jar with a bunch of chocolate chip cookies in there. The amount of chocolate chips on the top of the cookie, the number is on the bottom of the cookie so they can learn their numbers that way. And also food play, great for the kitchen and great for the grocery store. We have this kid table and this is where they do most of their arts and crafts. Homework, I always have crayons and coloring books out for them. I'm currently sitting on one of the chairs right now comes with four chairs there's a bunch of different color options I mentioned the pink one and the girl version and we actually have the blue one because we have a lot of navy color scheme throughout my home so we purchased this one the electronic LCD drawing tablet I had one here that I mentioned in the girl video my kids took it off somewhere but this is really awesome it has a pen that attaches to it so the pen doesn't get lost you can color on it. It kind of has like a rainbow gradient on the underside. There's a button that you can push. Drawing goes away. And there's also a lock on this tablet so that you can lock it. So if it accidentally gets pushed, the kid won't be very upset and have to start all over. If you know what I mean. So recommend this. Both my daughter and my son have one of these. Our color changing kitchen sink. I had this with my son during those 2020 moments and love this. So it is a working kitchen sink. It is plastic, but it has running water when you turn it on. There are cups and plates and dish soap and all those fun things that you can play with. Kids love playing with water, especially at this age, especially when it's moving. And depending on the temperature of the water, hot or cold, it will change the color of the utensils and plates and cups and things like that. So highly recommend that. We love the Melissa and Doug ice cream scoops. So this is magnetic ice cream. So when you use the little scooper to pick it up and put it on the cones, they can do it themselves with the scoop. It makes it that much more magical. They also have this cookie set as well. And that is everything for my toddler gift guide today for boys ranging two to four years old. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. I plan on doing my like preschool kindergarten age group. I'll probably be like four to six age range for the next video. And it will be combined boys and girls because I don't have specific girls girl items for that age just because my daughter is only two years old. So check that video out very soon. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. If you have any other specific gift guide recommendations for me, leave them down below and I will try to get filming on that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow